Howdy again. Got a comment from Paul about how to create planes on a cylinder. It's not as intuitive as it should be, but because it's uh it's not a an actual surface, it's a you know it's a radius, so creating a surface on that might actually be a little tough. So let's go ahead and start off. We'll just create our uh, solid model here. Select your plane. And I'm just going to make a basic cylinder here. So we're going to go like a four inch. And we'll boss it up. So extrude. So let's make it six inches tall. Okay. So now we've got this cylinder, right? So you can't select that surface. We want to make uh, a spigot. Say we we're going to make like a big uh, plumbing fitting or something like that. We need to have uh, a piece come off the side of it there. So you can hollow it out, uh, go out to shell. You can pick your surfaces, right? And it hollows that thing out automatically. But we want to go ahead and put a we're going to go ahead and put a spigot on it. So there's two different ways. We can leave the shell and then we can create our spigot off the side or we can just cancel this off. So we've got this and we want to have our piece come out, right? So we can select this. This is the easy way, right? Uh, activate sketch, reset the view. And then we're going to have our circle here. So this is going to be well, like two and a half or whatever, right? No. 2.5. And then it's going to be dead in the middle. So it's three inches up. And then it's centered, right? So you can imagine you want to have this offset or something like that. You can do that too. So that extrude it out, right? Okay, so you've got you know, basic thing like this. So what you would want to do is maybe create your fillet. That's not what I wanted to do. Just catch the edge. There we go. So you can do that and then close that out. And then you can go through and shell this. Select all the surfaces. And so that's a pretty easy way to do that. So you can see it's all hollowed out. And in fact, since you put the radius on first, it'll automatically uh, put that radius in the middle of that there. So, so that's, that's the simplest way to do that. But there's other ways of getting about the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and kill off some of this stuff. So let's move just the same thing here, right? Move our bar up. Okay. So let's go ahead and shell this first. So we hollowed it out. Okay. And then drop it in. So now you can see this piece isn't hollowed out either. We've got this piece in the middle. So we want to get rid of that. Uh, Go up to, where is the pattern? Uh, there's a surface remove tool. Um, I keep forgetting where this stuff is. Oh, <laughs> uh, crap. Uh, no, that's not it. I'm going to have to edit some of this. There it is. Okay. So now we've got this piece in the middle here. And what we want to do is we want to remove the face. So, so move face scale thing here. There's a little drop down window. Uh, you can offset it, move it. We want to remove the face, right? So you select the surfaces, apply, and it takes it right off. Okay, so now the next thing is we need to close that. We can fill it this again, fill it that area. Okay, apply it. 
And then we can go ahead and shell that again. And select the inside surface. So it gets to the same thing, but in a roundabout way. Okay. So that's, that's, there's two different methods of getting at the same thing. So, but we want this to add an angle. So that's going to be a little bit different now. So let's go ahead and kill off this stuff again. Let's delete it. Delete it. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. And okay. So now we've got back to our shelled here, right? So let's go ahead and I'm going to shell this again. Uh, so it's a thin wall shell. Okay. So now we want to create that spigot, but we want it at an angle. So the, one of the easiest ways to do this uh, is to select your surface, insert a plane, and let's go like 2.5 up. Okay. And then we need to put an axis on this. Insert axis. So select that plane and another plane. All right. So now you can see the highlighted axis. So now close that back out, add another plane. All right. So collect that. Click the uh, axis that you just created, and then you can add in an angle. So 45, right? So apply that. And now you can create uh, off of that, you can create your spigot coming off the side of that. So same kind of deal, right? So knowing the two different methods of shelling it, you can actually shell the whole thing after you've drawn the model, or if you need to add this piece in later, you can shell it back out after the fact. So same kind of deal, right? So we want to extend that out. Let's see, it's too high, right? So we want to uh, we want to drop that down. So we go back to our first plane and we start dropping that down. Let's drop that to one inch. Okay, and then generate the last picture. And that gives us a little bit more of what we're looking for, I think, right? And same trick, uh, fill it in. Oh. Why does it do that? <laughs> Why does it do that? Uh, okay, there we go. So we've got that kind of a system now, right? So you can go through and, and make your Part that way and now we can go back uh remove face again uh, oops you know what i didn't do what was that i didn't on my shell i didn't select the bottom so it made a cup instead of a tube all right okay so now go back to shell Face, I'm sorry. That, pull that, apply it. So now you can see that again. And then we go back to the shell tool and then select the inside. Come on. Hmm, it's not doing it. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So. That won't do that. Interesting. I don't want too much of a complicated geometry for it. So the next thing is you would have to select the surface. Uh, concentrics. Okay. And then. And then boss that out. You have to go extrude it. All right, so we got that, and then you can put your fillet on the inside. All right, yeah, so that's kind of a complicated way to do it. Sometimes that's what happens with some of this program is the shell feature gets a little broken down 
and uh, can't complete the function. So you have to go about it. You have to kind of think about this thing in different ways. But I like doing my spigots like this uh, where I've got a, a set of parameters where I can adjust everything. I can go back in. I can edit that. If I need to lower it down, so do that, and then bring it all back to the, and you can see now it drops that down even more. So it's probably not the, the cleanest way of getting around about to the, the end goal on that. Uh, but it, it uh, will get you there. That's probably one of the easier ways to do that. All right. Hope that helps a little bit. Uh, Camera's right there. Uh, I'm still getting used to all this. I'm still learning all my capture software and everything. So I uh, hope that helps. If you've got any further questions, please give me more suggestions. Thanks.